Manx Murders, adapted from his book by Keith Wilkinson, read by Mark Clift. The Murder of Samuel Stewart. The case that follows gives an insight into the horrendous conditions in which some Manx people lived in parts of Douglas 130 years ago. The deaths were a direct result of the poverty, despair and hopelessness that many people who lived in such conditions must have felt. It is not surprising that many turned to alcohol and often became addicted to it. This certainly played a part in the extremely sad and distressing incident that follows. In 1869, Margaret Stewart and her husband Samuel had been married for 23 years and both were alcoholics. The couple had three boys, although only the youngest, Samuel, aged five, lived with them at the time. Her husband was frequently in prison for offences resulting from his excessive drinking. Their home was one room in a three-storey house in Back Strand Street, Douglas. Three other rooms in the house were occupied by other families. Between the entrance hall and the steward's room there was a huge hole in the wall, covered by a blanket, and the floor of the room was full of holes through which rats would enter from the cellar below. At the end of July the room was empty apart from a small pile of straw on which they slept. On the 24th of July Margaret's husband was again in prison and it appears that she had sold all her belongings and spent the money on alcohol. At 7pm on that Saturday, Mrs Goodwin, one of her neighbours, saw Margaret and her son sitting on the straw in their room, and she would later say that Margaret had appeared to be sober at that time. At 11pm, Margaret had gone into Patrick Maxwell's room, who was also living in the building, and spoke to him briefly. It later became clear that at some stage Margaret had taken a knife from a table in the Maxwell's room. Shortly after midnight, Mrs Goodwin heard a child cry, Oh Mama, don't do that, followed by sounds of a struggle. She went downstairs to the steward's room where she was met with an horrific sight. The body of the young boy was lying on the floor, his head in a pool of blood, and it was clear that his throat had been cut. Of his mother there was no sign. Margaret Stewart had fled to the nearby shore where she was seen to slash at her throat with the same knife before running into the sea. Witnesses managed to drag her onto the beach and she was taken to the nearby hospital where a silver tube was placed into her windpipe. An inquest was held into the death of young Samuel Stewart before the High Bailiff and a jury. Dr Weddell said that death was caused either by blood getting into the child's lungs or from blood loss from the neck wound. The jury found that Margaret Stewart did feloniously, willfully and of her malice aforethought kill and murder the said Samuel Stewart. Meanwhile, Margaret was treated in hospital but her condition deteriorated and one week later, on Sunday the 1st of August, she too died. The following day, an inquest into her death found that she had died from the effects of cutting her own throat, and the jury added that, at the time, she was labouring under temporary insanity. An editorial in the Isle of Man Weekly Times, on Saturday the 31st of July 1869, reminded the Manx people of the atrocious conditions in which some were forced to live. Margaret Stewart was still alive at the time this article was written. The reporter said, We scarcely know which feeling should predominate most, indignation at this fearful crime of infanticide, or pity for the poor desperate wretch who sought vainly to atone with her own blood for the sacrifice of her offspring. Although she was technically guilty of murder, the article continued that it was clear society and our laws are not free from all blame for this state of things. We believe that the public are unaware of the real extent of local misery and wretchedness. It ended by demanding that action be taken to address the problem of poverty, the underlying cause of the tragic deaths of Margaret Stewart and her young son Samuel. Mm -hmm.